What's going on guys? Where's the weekly tactics gone? There's a question I've been getting hundreds of DMs everywhere, Instagram, Twitter, <laughs> everywhere, Discord. Where's the weekly tactics? Now, guys, there's no update. I'm not going to release a weekly tactics video. Um, I'm not that kind of guy that's going to release nothing for the sake of it. Unless there's a few minor changes, it's not worth up updating. But as I said, I wanted to take a bit of step back. I want to introduce new formations. For those of you that actually stay tuned to this 4321, I actually leaked this formation earlier, two weeks ago. So if any of you are wondering why two weeks ago my left back was on balance, because I was actually testing Mark Marley's tactics about two weeks ago when it did come out. So that's just a quick leak that I want to see if anyone actually caught on to that. Um, but, because I explained it briefly. But anyway, um, so as I said, I wanted now just to try some new formations. And listen, we've come to this stage now. We're going to go through these all. I'm going to go through every single tactic as well, including the new 433 fifth variation that I mentioned. Um, we come to this point now where I'm literally just going to go through every single one of these tactics for the entire year. Every week we're going to change it up and it's now time for you to make the tactic for your playstyle. Two or three years ago I was giving you the exact tactics. Those days are gone. Now you make it for yourself. You adapt it for your own playstyle and you understand what works for you. When you came to me two three years ago when, when I wasn't teaching you FC, then I understand. But now it's a different route. We're going down the route where you aim this for yourself. You conquer, you conquer a formation, you master it, and you understand, do I like this formation? Like, I'm going to show you in a very in a second, a 4, 3, 3, 5th variation. Some of you may like it, some of you won't like it. And I'll explain to you, but I don't like it, but a lot of you guys might do. We'll go into that in a second. Um, so, we're going to get rid of this 4, 2, 1, 3. This will be the last week we're going to use it. I think a lot of you are using this over the 4, 2, 3, 1. Um, I think, realistically, the 4, 2, 3, 1 is still the top three formations in the game. It's just too boring to play. I'm not going to sit there and play one striker. I'm sure you're not going to do the same thing. It's just too boring. I'd rather leak two goals and get three win, uh, three goals scoring than make it a boring 1-0 game. Um, so we kept this 4-2-1-3 and it's basically a more advanced 4-2-3-1 as I already mentioned. Um, you can copy these tactics. Don't forget these work for both old gen and new gen. People who ask me that question again and again. The tactics work the same. You've got to be more worried about stuff like... Um, defensive awareness and stuff that's not in new gen rather than anything but anyway balance 71 depth pressure again you can always decrease this if you find this to be too attacking and these are the instructions now again i'm just going to sift slift swiftly go through these um you can literally pause the video and manipulate the video everyone keeps asking me why did you go through this so fast guy literally got bottom right corner screen pause the video and slow the video down you can just copy and paste the tactics I don't want to make this a 30 minute long video or 40 minute long video. I don't even like hearing my voice that much. I'm sure very much you guys don't like it either. But we're going to go to the 433 fifth variation. Now this one, as I said, look, it's not, I made a video on this already. So if you're wondering, should you pay this formation? Go watch that video on my channel already. This is a very unique formation. As I said, it's only going to work if you're a top tier elite player or you're like division 10 to division four. I think division three to about touching a lead division is when you struggle with one striker and the left wing and right wing being too wide apart. I'd rather have, I'll explain to you, a 4-2-1-3, which in theory is the, is a similar system if you look at it, except for the only thing is instead of two centre mids here, you have one cam. So it's actually better to be defensively stable with two CDMs and a cam, which would be more attacking in my opinion, than um, the false nine. But again, you're going to have to rely on attacking players in both these roles. You need quick players. I was testing some tactics out, hence why I delayed. So you, everyone's going to be getting this tactics video. And if you're part of my Patreon series, I mean, you're probably going to get this video at the same time. Um, literally, it's finished off a few hours ago. But these players are very, very important to go forward and get the ball on the attack. Balance 45-55 is a pretty neutral. You can always increase this depth, but I think... Because you're defending in a 4-3-3, I wouldn't really go towards 71 depth there. I think you're better off just using the 4-3-2-1 in the, that defends in a 4-4-2 or using a 4-4-2 formation. Slow build up play one of the few formations alongside the 3-5-2 I'd recommend. This is more of a patient, diligent formation. So if you're sitting here and you get frustrated every single game, do not use this formation. Just use maybe my 3-5-2 from two weeks ago whenever I uploaded it a week before the last tactics video. Um, this video, this tactic, listen, this is one for you to use maybe after you finish your weekend league. Maybe you've got a couple of games left and you don't mind giving the games away because you already reached the rank that you want. Or if you're still qualifying for this weekend, 
this will be the one for you to use. It will either work amazingly for mo for some of you, but terrible for most. This is the thing with some of these formations. They're not meta coin and coin for the masses. Maybe for like a select top tier elite player, select 20 and 0 players weekly every single time. Or maybe someone in Division 5 that maybe wins here and there, but is playing against people that are weaker. In foot champs, it's going to be a different situation. Many of you guys will struggle. For the instructions, come back in the fence, get it behind, get in the box with both left wing and right wing. No cut inside, um, because the truth is cut inside only works if you play that style. It's better to leave on neutral, then decide after if you want to put the cut inside instruction on. That's the big mistake. When you're using stay wide, you're forcing these players to be wide the entire time. If you make them cut inside, they're always going to cut inside every single time. Let the game make it. So if you get the ball on the wing area, your winger will cut in automatically. Let the game make the decision for you. The game's actually quite smart in those areas. Attacking AI is dreadful. Something like that is quite smart. Um, the single striker, stay central, get it behind, stay forward. Do not, please do not put false nine on this. This is not like how Messi's going to be playing, like in Barcelona. He's not going to be occupying this space, leaving the centre backs in no man's land, picking up the ball with free space. It just goes, the player just goes away from goal. Like, just leave the play on, get it behind, or if, if you really you want someone that's a bit more passing, you want to pass the ball as like a Jesus type player in real life, put him on balanced. You're still going to need a marksman strike here, guys, unless you're relying heavily. Now, what I've seen a lot of these top tier players do is that they're relying heavily on finesse shots and travellers from this player, this player, and these wingers. So, unless you're using player lock and travellers and you're being very diligent, you're going to struggle with this formation. Again, I have to say this a few times because there's going to be some in the comp section. Oh, this that doesn't work for me. I can't do it every single week. But this one, very specifically, will definitely not work for like the mass majority of you. And we've got cover wing on both of these players and get into the box for cross. Um, put them for one of the most attacking players. Um, if Again, if you find this to be too offensive, you can put one of these guys and stay back. Uh, but this is fine. Work rates here is imperative. Now, if you are going to use slow build up play, what I'd recommend is get forward for both of these players. It's kind of better to be a bit more top heavy offensive and then always dial it back defensively because that way you know, okay, if I can't score, because it's always better to be like, okay, I'm good at scoring, but okay, I'm strong at defending. Then you know, okay, you know what? They put one of these players on stay back. It's always better to go top heavy first and then work your way backwards, especially in a formation like this where you're relying heavily on centre mids to make your attack worth it. Um, CDM, cut passing, stay back, cover, uh, stay back while taking cover centre. A left back, right back, both are unbalanced, overlap. Now, um, this one I have to be, again, I have to warn you again, with left back and right backs going forward, you're going to have two players at the back. It's a very high skilled formation in my opinion. I mean, I personally don't like it. The reason I'm raving on about it is because everyone keeps saying how it's meta. Yes, I think it's meta for those specific players, but it's not like a 4-2-3-1 or 4-4-2 or 4-3-2-1 that works for everyone. If those formations don't work for you, it's your gameplay. Like it's your gameplay. I'm calling you out now. I'll, I'll, I'll the creator won't do that. They'll teach you something, tell you something like a fairy. Oh no, it's not your fault, but it is your fault. You have to learn to play. It doesn't matter if you give any 20 or no, any pro play, you give them any formation, close your eyes, put them, give them any tactics, everything unbalanced. They're still probably only at 20 or no. It's a lot, you guys have to understand this tactics would only take you so far, guys. This is Mark Marley's tactics, as I mentioned in yesterday's video. As I said, a bit of an Easter egg. I actually released this two weeks ago. Um, and I kind of explained it that I switched on opposite side. Let's see if any of you guys noticed that. But it's another formation I wanted you guys to try out. Um, in regards to why I keep uploading the 4-3-2-1 video, if you see a 4-3-2-1 video of a, of a pro player, just don't click on my video then because um, I'm going to have to address this as well. And I'm probably only speaking here to like 1%, but I have to always do it. Um, when I do these tactics reviews, um, people always request me, hey, can you do this tactic, can you do that tactic? I make the tactics video, then it's up to you implement the tactic yourself and um, that is why I give you the gameplay example and then towards the end of the video I give you my suggestions um, I just want to keep repeating this week in week out so this video is going to be more of a, like uh, me being candid and just telling you how it is um, but anyway balance 45 60 balance direct pass 45 Mark Molly's tactics I released I believe is yesterday so you can check that video out for full explanation on these and um, I'm going to scroll through these but again yeah like I said look I'm not, it's not like I'm coming at you guys. The reason why I'm just saying this is because I need to be honest with you. If you want to improve in the game, and don't forget, you guys know this. You're coming to know, guys, I'm going to tell you things how it is. I'm not really going to sugarcoat things. Krieger should actually be in the middle here. That's just a mistake. Krieger should be in the middle. That's fine. 
and um yeah so yeah um yeah i'm just gonna because i think it's very important now a lot of people are struggling with this game especially a lot um but a lot of people are blaming the game don't get me wrong i know servers were dreadful this weekend and this game can make you rage like anyone else but the key thing about this game is mentality you have to be mentally in a position to not be affected by bs it's the bit i'm telling you guys it's the biggest killer in, in terms of gameplay performance it doesn't matter what tactics i give you it's a bigger gameplay and that is why i'm making this video because i want you to start working towards making your own tactics gone are the days where you copy my tactics word for word and you be like okay that's no guys he said that i'm just going to copy it whoop de doo i want you to start adjusting it you should be adjusting the width is this too is this too wide for you is maybe the depth too high for you this is why if you've seen every single year i start having more and more iterations and more and more giving you guys more varied suggestions if you watch a video from two years ago i said here tactics that's it and that's it that's why I change it up. Again, I don't want this to be... Next, when we go into this next year, I'm literally going to have one tactics video, maybe once a month on meta tactics, the rank one tactics, and then the rest of the, the time is going to be more about experimenting and trying fun tactics. Especially this year, as I said, um, I'm kind of sick and tired of gameplay. Um, pretty much sure you guys are, are as well. You guys know how the game is. I'm not going to go over that. But anyway, these are the 442 tactics that I wanted to mention as well. These are the best comeback tactics, I think, inside the game. Um, I can't really see... The 4-3-2 on defends in a 4-4-2, but it's not a 4-4-2 naturally. Now, the 4-2-4 is the best pressing formation and the best comeback formation inside the game. This would be the only formation that is staying. These three formations, we would probably might keep this 4-3-2-1, to be honest. But the rest of these two are going to be rotating week in, week out. So in the structure, you still start off with a 4-2-3-1. Then you can play either the 4-3-3 false nine, which would be a bit more of a, a slower type of football. Maybe you can argue this is more attacking than this formation. It's that like this one, you have two CDMs. Hence why I put it in a CDM slot. Um, and I got one of them on balance. You can always put one of them on stay back and reduce the depth, as I mentioned. Again, this is a very slow formation. Very diligent, very passive. If you're frustrated, you just came after a loss, you should not be playing this formation unless you know you can take calm. I'll be honest, even I struggle. If I've lost a game because of BS, if I use this formation, I'll tell you admittedly, I'm trying to tell you the truth. Using this formation, I will struggle because mentally I'll be affected. Because you have to be, even sometimes when you try to push yourself above and you try to, oh, you know what, let me force myself to play that way and you don't take a break, it can really affect your gameplay. So just be very careful when you use this formation. Um, I'd recommend watching some top tier streamers. I believe Air Japes got 20 and 0. Um, another creator got 20 and 0 as well with it. And I know, of course, these guys are very top tier players, but it's very good to learn from these guys, see how they play, how they defend, how they run back, stuff like that. Um, 4 3 2 1, as I mentioned, that's Mark Mind. I think it's probably the best formation inside the game. Every single pro player is using this formation. It's the one that's dominating the pro scene. It's a pretty much a glitched formation, per se. And that is the reason why it's so effective. Um, especially when you're up against, you know, you have like the left center mid gets pushed in and you have an opposite side unmarked. It's a very glitched formation. They haven't fixed it. I don't know why, but so that is probably alongside the 4 2 3 1, um, probably the top formation, top three formation. I would say 4 2 3 1 and this is probably top three right now. And then maybe I would say 4 4 2 naturally probably goes in that top three as well. So that's what I would say is the top three. This 424 is basically the same as a 433. I mean, sorry, a 442, guys. The only difference is, is that um, is that you have wingers. That is pretty much it. Makes it more attacking. And then these are the instructions. It's the exact same that we've used since day one. And I said both the center mids on balance. Um, you could put them on get forward if you want to. Um, but I always trigger these plays manually. Come center, left back, right back, stay back, and overlap. Something else I want to show you, you've made it this far. You see this formation and this formation, they're very identical. You see they're three midfielders, okay? So you see the 4 2 3 1? It's three midfielders, two wingers, one striker. The same thing here. But the difference is this is like a center forward. You need someone that's a striker. The reason why my cam is on stay forward. It's because it plays like a 4-4-1-1. So this is similar to a 4-4-2, okay? So although this is looks like a 4-3-3 on paper, it is technically, technically, it actually plays like a 4-4-1-1, okay? Then you have this one, which is very, very similar. It's a 4-3-3 on paper, 
Again, the only difference is that you have two CDMs, and that's why I said these players, the center mids going forward, you got to be reliant on them. You will not be as stable with this formation, although it looks like you pack up the midfield more, you're going to be more stable with the other formation with two CDMs. It's important you understand this difference, especially when you're making formations for yourself. It's important to understand these differences. Even you can argue, you can argue on a technical perspective, this is the same formation again. 4-3-3, three, three, except for you don't have a CDM, you have a centre mid. The midfield three, they still say the same. The left wing and right wing, instead of them being wide wingers, they're basically internal. So they're basically, I would say, just three central strikers. In fact, you can argue um, this formation and the 4-1-2-1-2 four, one, two, one, two, are quite similar. Because you could, okay, maybe not, maybe maybe let's give you a bit more of an exact one. It would be the, not the 4-1-2-1-2, four, one, two, one, two, it would be the... Four one four one three two. Hang on. No, it will be the four three one two. Sorry. So you can see the four three one two. You got three centre mids, a camp, and a striker. The difference is, is that here you have the same thing, but instead of the two strikers, you got one striker and left forward, right forward. But the way this plays is that you have three players up front. So if you prefer to have a link up player in between your midfield, in between your midfield three and your attacking three, if you want that link up player. Then you use that 4-3-1-2 because you've got that cam and you've got that two strikers. You can always put drift wide on those two strikers. Do you understand? This is how I make tactics, by the way. This is how when I make a unique tactic. This is how, like, when I discover something is meta very early on, right? Like, for example, when I made the 4-5-2-1-2 or the, or the, I don't know, when I, the 3-5-2 and all this stuff. Or even, like, something like the, a mechanic speaking. It's just the way you understand where the game is going, where the meta is, and then you understand how formations work and why formations work for that meta and stuff like that. But that is why if you compare this, um, this 4-3-3, the only difference between this 4-3-3 and this 4-3-3 is that you have a CDM and this player is not a striker. If this player was a striker, let's say, let's say player for player is the same formation, the only difference is this CDM. Now, this CDM makes the defense, defense more stable. Why? It's simply because of the cut passing lane instructions. These are a few things that maybe are worth experimenting in your spare time. Maybe you're doing an objective or maybe you're doing squad battles. Maybe give it a try. It's always good to experiment with these things so you guys understand. As I said, guys, I want you to stop watching my videos. Maybe you watch my videos. Oh, what's Neil done this week? But I don't want you to rely on my videos. I want you to make your own tactics. Believe me. It's better if you can't watch the videos. I make more money at the end of the day. It's a business. But... I want you to eventually get better at the game, learn your own tactics, and maybe just come to me if you need, you know, just like a top up or you're not too sure, you want to see if I'm creating anything new or anything like that. But to be completely honest, this year, I've literally looked at all the formations. There's nothing new. There's no 352 before anyone figured out. There's no meta formation. Maybe the one that's kind of probably underlooked here if we're really talking about it is um, let's not talk about the five backs, okay? I think maybe the 342 one has a better. A better use case um although very hard to play with it's maybe a very good formation if not one the maybe top five if used in the right way my, that might be the only hidden formation but you know back fives and back threes on the pro scene are blocked so you're not really going to see that meta on the pro scene but anyway i just thought i'd make that video uh, more of a show you what changes we made give you some insights, give you some suggestions, and just kind of give you a bit of a thought process. Next week, we're going to change these two tactics up. We're going to try to put two completely different tactics in. So from now on, moving forward, you can technically use any set of tactics. It's December now. Um, there's, I'm not going to put any bad tactics in, although I'll put tactics like these that might work for some of you, might not work for. And as I said, I have to say it because everyone's going to be like, sometimes conversation, Neil, it doesn't work. Your tactics are bad. And of course... I have to always explain that it does depend on pe people's play style, stuff like that. It's a very slow format, as I mentioned. Anyway, that. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Don't forget, if you want to get better people, you can come to my people's school through patreon.com forward slash no link down below in the description. I'm actually running out of breath now. Thanks for watching. Take it easy, and I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.